This week, Donald Trump proved there is one thing worse than getting owned on social media by a 16-year-old, getting owned in real life by a 79-year-old. House Democrats have finally commenced an impeachment inquiry into the president over allegations he pressured Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. Once again, proving the old adage, locking kids in cages is fine, but don't you dare be mean to Joe Biden. Trump was reportedly shocked by the backlash to his actions because up until now, the only consequence he's ever faced for his behavior has been terrible diarrhea. I don't like to see that. The scandal centers around a phone call between Ukrainian President Zelensky, who used to play the president on Ukrainian TV, and Trump, who currently plays the president on American TV. The Trump administration has already released a transcript of the call, which Trump was sure would exonerate him. It's like how carving a swastika into his head proved to everyone that Charles Manson was just a fun dude. I would have followed him. Yeah. Highlights of the transcript include Trump reminding Zelensky how much America does for Ukraine, Trump repeatedly asking Zelensky to investigate the Bidens, and Trump telling Zelensky that Rudy Giuliani was going to call him. At this point, Giuliani is like Rob Schneider showing up in Adam Sandler movies. He makes an already horrible experience ten times worse. But even Giuliani wasn't the worst part of the call. That was when Trump demanded Zelensky say, I love you, before he agreed to hang up. The next day, the whistleblower's complaint was released to Congress, alleging Trump attempted a cover-up. Of course, the cover-up failed when Eric got full after swallowing only 200 pages. It's not a long book. No. Personally, I'm not sure impeachment is actually a good idea. Even if Democrats succeed in removing Trump from office, they'll only be replacing him with President Mike Pence. Yeah. Which is like trying to cure your syphilis by getting herpes. Exactly. Something that, as Donald Trump knows well, does not work. The Beaverton Mocks the Vote, Friday, October 18th, only on CTV.